right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say from the beginning though that I like your character choices. I think that's pretty decent. All right, we'll cut it there. Good job. Done. <laughs> yeah, this band, <laughs> this ban is a uh, something. That, that that is a questionable ban though, because I would one hundred percent have given you Shinra Kodanu every time. Uh, <laughs> so you can pause here and criticize your uh, choices. Uh, that's definitely. okay. Now you can do do uh, whatever you like. However, oh, wait, 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 wait. Is... you do change something here really quick. Let's keep going first. This is this is something I wanted to keep in. <laughs> All right. I figured I was thinking I wouldn't actually get that close to use concealment considering the range of my opponent. Concealment is also um, just good for proactively pulling the aura out, and then you can get Porochara. Oh, nice. We got the start of the game. Freeze your opponent hand. How how oft, how strong do you think of an opening uh, absolute zero is? It locks Compared your to opponent other into opens. if you're going first, you can basically it's like double flinching them almost. Yeah, that's fair. And you get to like straight up give yourself a flare advantage, right? The rest of the game off of that. Oh, he's using. Special tech to disable tooltips on the tokens. It really annoys me because I leave my cursor in a place and I just get this really annoying tooltip on my screen. It's like, yes, I know this is a nice token. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yes, I've got five of them. I know what they do. Okay, so now we have a hand that we can't use for anything except basic actions right now. That's fine. Yep. I figured, so my thought was getting rid of. Um, Absolute zero is it's going to be more useful played later. Uh, considering I'm against Shinra, who can quite reasonably stay back uh, and just kind of sit on that. I know it stops the focusing, but I was thinking I need to get closer rather than letting Shinra have time to flare up. Shinra in the first phase of the game is almost just intent to let you make your approach and then sophism you, but any card you discard, there's a good chance you're not drawing it. Mulligan. Unless you stay out of sophism range until you draw the rest of your deck. I will say that when Megumi is present, you're gonna really be playing at five range, and Shinra doesn't necessarily want to back up. She also doesn't have the tools that Himika or even Kanae have to range lock. She doesn't really have back backing up or anything like that. Shinra? Yeah. She, she's not great at distance locking compared uh, to most other long range characters. She there's... has less tools for backing up than Sine. Uh, well, yeah, but she Sine can do them has at longer range. some of the most tools for backing up. Shinra can back up at longer range, though, because she's not ranged requirement, right? She's getting the extra vigor from Eloquence if she's playing at Divine, and she's got the reaction that puts uh, Shadow to distance. Uh, Eloquence, at best, is a not a negative card. Yeah, if you just discarded eloquence, you get the extra vigor. So, yep. but you get uh, you get to the, the the thing about that is it, it slows down your reshuffling. That's yeah. basically the so eloquence only is more to it. of negative life damage than anything else. <laughs> um, she doesn't really have the tools to keep the distance high. Divine um, eloquence. She needs a partner. There's also the yeah. uncertainty with eloquence because it it is kind of it's a threat when it's down every time it's down. If, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially <laughs> if your deck is about to run out. The real use of eloquence is three life damage at the end of the game. Yep. Or three. Uh, I guess also with when Megumi's in the game, eloquence is suddenly really good because you're sprouting tokens every turn. That's also uh, true. I've noticed a problem with recording a game that you're playing is if you're using the alt text to pull up your cards like I do, it's just like, oh yeah, well, goodbye board when I look at this card a second. <laughs> I've actually forgotten exactly what happens in this game. Um, I just know the outcome. Yeah, as soon as I saw the lock-in for this, I'm like, okay, so Erling uses Prove the Nature and burns you up. 
or beat down to death because you can use eloquence to always have a seed token out pretty much and uh can then pick you your field clean then you have three two sky gleam yeah from the beginning of the game you can have a three two I also regret taking um, the, that many cheap specials. I think I end up on a lot of flair that I can't use in this game. The thing is, I don't really think that pair has a lot of expensive spec. I guess you could, you should have taken Porter Chad at all. Yeah, yeah, sure. But uh, instead of probably the custom, system, yeah, yeah, to replace that. Uh, otherwise, mm, I don't I, think it's too bad. I, I think do that's just like what happens. like a custom with the uh, Chicago normals, but yeah. Because those no Chicago's members are really good at at poking holes in aura, and then the possum just kind of plasters in there. I think your deck would have been really good against anyone that wasn't playing control. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw out a lot of damage with these two, um, but it's it's like anything, you know you. Different oh. compositions require different answers. Why ah, there's, there's a reason for this. Ah, let me talk to you about this because I I do this multiple times during this game. It stops my opponent from playing argue. Oh yeah, okay, legit. That's good because all of my attacks, other than that, will be unless Rhyme Thorns up, they'll be two two or or lower. Almost like why even bring it then? Hey, and even if it gets argued, you get to if it gets protested, you get to draw a card, and then protest, yeah. you can follow it up with whatever card you draw. All right, I had a game plan. I'm not saying it's a good game plan. I think it's good that you're considering that, but at the same time, that might not be the right way to go. I think the right way to go is to play Rhymethorn. Oh, that's not Rhymethorn. Okay, never mind. Did you bring Rhymethorn? I don't remember. Because Rhymethorn and Mistbane sounds like a lot of fun. It does, and apply to specials. Oh, it, oh shit, I always forget that. <laughs> um, that's, the, that's Himika that does that. Yeah, Spreading Palm does as well. Yeah. As I've, as I've been playing a lot of Megumi recently. Yeah, Spreading Palm, gross. Spreading Palm Rhyme Thorn is a meme, and I like it. Oh, yeah. And then you use that on what? On um, uh, Yanpe? And then make your opponent cry. <laughs> well, if you only have three aura, you're dead. <laughs> Can't use it on Yurion too, though, because it's special. Not the Rhyme Thorn, anyway. Oh, that's right. Again. <laughs> I mean, gotcha. Yeah, I keep, I keep walking into this. <laughs> All right. I do really think we should be seeing more Kodunu Kamui. I'm surprised that's like... It does seem like it would be good. I don't know exactly what the issue there is. Here's a little thing I picked up recently. To I don't know why I do it, because you can just hold down Alt and see the card up the right way anyway, but when I give my player an attack recently, I've been spinning it upside down. I noticed Jay does this mm. also. Oh, I do? I have not noticed that I do that. Yeah, you're like handing it to them like a pamphlet. Yeah, it's like you are taking this, but you may read it and weep. Yeah. Well, I have a history of playing with people that have no prior game knowledge, so. <laughs> okay. And then playing like, stuff like only a <laughs> Three life damage opportunity. That they have. Well, no, I don't know. They probably don't have Agitate. If they did, they almost certainly would have reacted to the Needle, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking at that time. Um, so I was meaning to ask while we are in the commentary, Karunu's special that uh, does the attack and then fully freezes your opponent afterwards. Yeah. 
I, yeah. I rarely see that play. Is there a reason for that? Um, so its main weakness, I would say, is that as a card, what you're when you play it, if you play it too early, your opponent gets too much flair. Um, and a 2-3 is not very commonly going to go to life. And it's sort of a finisher. But it's hard to finish with. Um, it's just very situational, is kind of what it comes down to. It's kind of like Gravewalk, except uh, where, where with Kamli, you have a pair, a deck you know, built around doing a ton of damage. Yep, goodbye, Kuna. Whereas uh, Kodonu doesn't have as much damage output. She's a lot less reliable. So the, the full freeze on Aura isn't as reliable of a win condition as it needs to be. It's very strong with Chikage, though, and certain other characters are better at dealing life damage. I like the idea, or at least my favorite time to play that special, is when your opponent has exactly two aura, so they have to make the decision of being like fully frozen or taking three life damage. It is a great card, actually, I would argue. It's just a situational card, unlike yeah. Tsukikage, which you take every game. Unless you're Snowbird. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I used to have this thing where I didn't like Tsukikage and I liked Final Blow better. And it was a dumb thing. Well, it's, t it's two flare cheaper, right? Uh, yeah. And actually, it was three flare cheaper at the time. Because Tsukikage was way too strong when it was one to two distance. <laughs> when you could move up to range one or zero. Yeah. All right, the one, two, full aura freeze. I don't think there's anything he can do to prevent this. And there was no mastery zone either, so you had to, you know, give up aura to back up away from Sikikage range. Really sucked. The mastery zone rule seems like it was a, a brilliant change. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it came I mean, in just as the AEG version came out. And it was like making me scratch my head about the whole thing, and it kind of really put me off the game to begin with. But since I came back with the level 99 version, it just makes so much more sense now. Yeah. Well, so the thing is, is the AEG version... Oh, uh, he's dodge and eloquence. Good job. All right, I'm back. Well, last is that time... that like a 5 or an absolute 0? Yeah. No, it, was, it only did uh, 2. He, I he think. had 1 aura <laughs> and 2 freeze, so he gained 3 freeze and lost 1 aura token. From the oh. zero. It was a less developed rule in the AEG version um, because it was in the version AEG was based off of an optional rule that was enforced in tournaments but not recommended for casual play. And so AEG kind of made the decision to just make it always a thing. But Oh yeah. yeah. And that rule I believe in the tutorial decks you couldn't yeah, you were straight up not supposed to use them when you were learning the game. Uh, you couldn't land the uh, Himika's zero range. What was it called again? Crimson, Crimson zero. zero. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't Crimson actually zero land Crimson zero. zero. <laughs> it was only zero range, and if you played with the actual rules, then you couldn't land it at all. Yeah. That does sound awful. Sinai's expansion, when it was an expansion originally, was released as this little book, art book that's got like uh, pictures of all seven characters. And then her cards are just kind of like a little packet inside the book. Uh, they cut out the pages. Thing to ship. No, it wasn't cut out of the pages, luckily. But cutting out of the pages would have made it you know, less, less uh, concerning. Like Because you just got these cards. Floating around in a soft back book. Oh. Like, if you got bent in shipping, I would have been screwed. <laughs> I was imagining, like, when people try and smuggle things in books, they cut holes in the pages and close it. Here's, um, here's me playing Amorphous Miss Bane first to avoid um, Blade Dance from being cancelled <laughs> by protest. So, you, you respected protest way too hard in this game, is what I'm hearing. Hey, it never went off once. I guess it's not that bad because 
you're going to get through two life for sure still, and you're going to fully freeze them. Yeah. That, that was my thinking at the time, and that's reasonable play if you really expect protest. This really makes, like, watching this in practice, the, the apostum seems awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah they're it's just, just every... taking all the freeze. <laughs> it was overkill. I think there oh, is you don't an have, argument here. You don't have kunai anymore. I was going to say, like, it might be worth doing frostbite, yeah, just to keep them permanently locked. But Oh, I wasn't even saying. I was going to say it might be worth uh, using Ryanpe here, because you're guaranteed three to life, and you can dramatically increase the speed of the game. You play uh, that, and then they immediately do prove, right? Well, maybe not, because they want to... Also, you forgot to re refresh your Miss Bane here. I didn't you play that. Yeah, I didn't, they didn't take that. Okay. Oh, you didn't? I thought, I thought you had it right there. Deadly. No. It's, I thought um, you hovered it. I heard it, saw it face up. Yeah. Yeah, four flare, two to three. Yeah. You took it. You you have it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, and you remembered there. Good. Cool. Because, yeah, if you do Rianpe and the next turn you hit with Miss Bane, that's brutal. Especially if you had locked with. Uh, with, with the frostbite. frostbite, yeah. Yeah, actually, you should play the frostbite there because it will lock for mist bane. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I think I was just thinking I'm wasting the initialize effect on it, so it just didn't, just didn't seem economical. And if you think about it, you're wasting the opponent's two vigor as well because they can't they take can't any they, actions except to run away. Can't you focus? They can do yeah. one retreat, but they can't do any backwards movement afterwards. Yeah, that's true. They can't even do any backwards movement. Yeah, but when you're at five freeze tokens, uh, yeah, frostbite it just it, you lose your turn almost. You can't do any basics. Basically, what, what probably would have happened if you did that is you would have gotten uh, proved the natured, but you would have been so early in the game you'd be fine. Oh yeah, if you would use the the two three special, you absolutely yeah, would have just immediately three. proved back. Probably if he could have, I think he would want to do uh, flail before proof, but yeah. All right, that's banking really hard on the opponent not having any reactions. Yeah, at this point, I hadn't seen. Um, the Shinra one that reveals the plan and changes the reaction. So I, at this point, I'm assuming that it's protest in the hand still that hasn't been had the chance to be played. That would make sense. I mean, I would especially assume that after seeing the uh, the one one go through. And uh... and again, this this is another chance for you to double focus Rianpe. <laughs> I like I like the flare. Um, kind of surprised that he took this to Aura. It makes me wonder what he was considering here. He knows mm -hmm. he's going to get misbaned. Yeah. yeah. I would do misbane and frostbite. That would be my play here, actually. Did you bring a pastum? Yes. Oh yeah, misbane a pastum frostbite. Never mind then. Yeah, misbane yeah, a pastum uh... frostbite would have locked him at five again. I don't know why I didn't do that at all. Perhaps I was just too giddy over the fact that I just landed Miss Bane to life. And if you had done that, I think you would be just win next right turn. Now. Yeah, you just straight up win next turn off of uh, Rianpe. Like, he proves this turn, right? This is the prove turn. Because he wouldn't have been able to prove uh, if you proof had Proof needs it. six, though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, so he can focus. Oh, he can't focus. He can't focus. Sorry. Yeah, you would have to have reshuffled this turn. I so. think, possibly thinking back, that's what I was concerned about, was prove the nature, and that's why I kept back the um, frostbite. But that's the thing, is by frostbiting, you guarantee he can't prove. Yes. Um. Until I do a life damage, he can't prove at the moment. Right, but Frostbite doesn't do life damage. Yeah. All right. That's that's the play I would probably take too. Is absolute zero. Absolute zero. You get two uh, aura back and 
put him up to three tokens. Two poisons in hand. And then now, you now Blade Dance is looking much better. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I know I can't communicate if with memory, you. memory serves me rightly here, I, I think I play Absolute Zero, but I don't think I played it all out. Oh, but why? You could also Poison Needle up the past him, but... Yeah, you could Poison Needle. But what poisons oh. do you have left to hand over at this time? It's uh, uh. just Muscle Relaxant, which is yeah. a terrible card to give to Shinra. Yes, well, actually, I think I end up to giving it to them. Oh, okay, so there's one more life damage to you from that. Yeah, I, I found that out later. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know I complain about Shadow League all the time, but... Yeah. However, I am grateful for this match, because once I lost this match, I stopped having to care too much about my performance, right? Your perfect record. It's no <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. I just play for fun now. I think that's how the game is best enjoyed anyways. Slightly competitive, but mostly for fun. Mm, I agree. And the, the league has very much felt like that as well. I never play Smash Bros. with items. <laughs> so Purple left. Purple's like, I don't want to have fun. <laughs> I want everyone to take it seriously. He wants the top level to be serious, at least, I think. But yeah, no one was taking the matches seriously, so he's like, I'm out. <laughs> I hate it when people play okay. gimmicks. That's, that's why, that's why if Purple won't play with me. Because Purple right knows choice, if he lost to me, taking he would feel bad. Taking it to life. life so that you can prove? You can just reach If he does, he's not going to have any enchantments, right? Because he's already got. Well, he's going to draw one card. Yeah, this he's going to get the, enha the en enchantment you just gave him. <laughs> yeah, for Shake the Mine. What? What sailed? Kunai. Kunai? Yep. Mm. Mm. And it was, and it was a good choice as well. It's a lot of, a lot of uh, straight through to life damage. It was prevented this game. Hmm. In the situation you're here now, I would keep the absolute zero as defense. I think it's so. only only Kunai or Blade Dance would be the targets for Seal here. Okay, so you're definitely getting proved nature next turn, if not this turn. You can't do it this turn. Yeah. You didn't reshuffle, so it's next turn. And you're dying this turn, right? Uh, you reshuffle here, and then you lock up, focus twice. Now you hit with a blade Connor. dance, right? You, you, you use blade dance first because you're betting that it's, he hasn't played it all game. Nope, I'm still playing around. Actually, would a reshuffle here have been lethal? Oh, if Erlang had reshuffled? No, if uh, a Bone White had reshuffled. Yeah, because you could totally do Rian Pei. Yeah, uh, then you could do Rian Pei or Lethal. Oh, but you do this. Okay. You can still... It's... So right now I'm feeling in a really good position, right? Lots of aura, big and life advantage. he's going to get the two life back for Improve the Nature... And then you're going to take a damage from Muscle Relax and Disenchanting, and then... He's going to top deck two Enhancements. Got a top deck Eloquence. Throw out the Megumi Spreading Palm for zero charge. Yeah, that's something I oh. haven't seen before, but it's definitely a thing. Look at that mess. Oh, I see. No flail. No no flail dream. Oh, he's putting a seed token on so he can hit you with a 3-2. Did he just recover three life off of that? No. Yeah, he did. did. Yeah, he did. He just recovered three life. Ankle. 
Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Now, you didn't lose this game by one life, did you? I, I will watch and find out. The <laughs> <laughs> suspense. <laughs> This is how you cheat an extra life token. That's one Much of the carefully now. See, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and just like slow motion it when he's a. Uh... Okay, so there's one more mm. from Shadow, and oops. Ah, uh, yeah. See, he dragged one from oh, the enhancement to life, so then he can uh, pretend he's dragging two from Shadow to life. Oh, the sky gleams. You gotta remember that too. he accidentally stacked a life on top of a life, so he took one away, you know, to look like. I don't think it was uh, genuinely on purpose. <laughs> oh, of course not, no. <laughs> but it is hilarious watching it back now. I, d I really don't think the margin was that close, to be fair. We'll s you'll see in a minute. Clearly, Prove the Nature should read your life total becomes the same as your opponent's. Oh. I'm yeeting the poison away because it's like, get out of my hand. When we ever get Yatsuha A2, that's her new reaction special, your life total is now equal to your opponent's. Get reflection gain. Have the A's been stealing from the challenge Megami ideas? Wait, what? Like, was that a one Himika special originally oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a. Yeah, that was originally Megami challenge Megami way back when. Uh, and while I would like other characters to be based on that, I doubt we'll be getting like Sine's challenge card, which was. Both players lose all of their aura for four players. Like I don't think that's balanced. <laughs> so in the game, I think this is the point where uh, Lang is explaining to me that it will the relax it will trigger through the nature, and I'm just like Jesus Christ. Yeah, relaxing Tamp has her own card. What have I done? And you didn't get spreading. Oh, there's not enough players spreading. Another fun ruling. From poisons counting as your own card is that Yatsuha's arrow reverse special works oh, on poison. Oh yeah, 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 with fade mm. light you can be like, whoop, three or gain. <laughs> and don't forget two free flare. Oh yeah. So this is where I play my asthma and give another muscle relaxant to my opponent. Not. I have learned my lesson. Yeah, you can give them a hallucinogen, but that still doesn't do anything. Do you technically have lethal here, though? I just don't think enough about playing my specials, that's the thing. So you'd have okay. two life, plus three life. Yep. That would be... Well, okay, you don't have the... You have to hit the one, one to aura first, so... I mean, it takes the one, one to aura, then you have two and three. Look, and I play play he hasn't got it in his asthma. hand, though. Oh, yeah, you have my asthma also. Yeah, no, you have super lethal here. Or at least you would if he was at this the right point. Yes, uh, might have been better as a basic action, actually. Yeah, uh, the focus. Sorry, the, the amorphous. Yep. Oh, that. amorphous. Oh, amorphous. You can do up postum into ice shard. Postum into Conru Riumpe. Which would not have been lethal, but it would close. Have been because well, he has one more life than he's supposed to. Oh yeah, it could have been lethal if he didn't cheat our lives. <laughs> Erlon would be an amazing Renry player. <laughs> Yeah, I refute how much life you're on currently. Oh, okay, so that's that's one of the special rules, right? If Shinra plays Argue, you lose all the things that you stole as Renry. All the extra vigor and all the life. I'm bookkeeping alone. 
Yeah, but but you know, it'd be in line with the story because that's kind of what happened. What's happening in the latest story chapter, anyways? Um, Shinra is interrogating Renry, and Akina pops up at the end. A new I character don't... reveal cliffhanger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then, obviously, in the next chapter, we'll learn that Akina isn't actually real. And it's just Renry again. This is just Renry A1. Everyone is Renry. There is no real characters. I guess if everybody is Renry, nobody will refute, right? You refute when you're backed into a corner. But then it's too late. Refutes have to be as unpredictable as the bluffs. All right. Now the clans, of course. I hadn't seen um possible game. I don't think. Yeah. One life damage. Maiden Wish is special for one life damage as well. Yeah. That's, uh, he wins next turn. So you are. This is where you have to have Lisa, right? Probably should have reshuffled to try and land um, Blade Dance, considering the only attack I had left in was Poison Needle. You still have your special, though. That I'm definitely not using, right? I've had, like, three opportunities to use it so far. But now you, now you lose next turn. Yeah, since you revealed everything, she knows exactly how to block for these attacks. Hopefully. Oh yeah, where did he take? He took the to life, or did he? Did he not take yep. the needle damage? He took the needle to life. Wait, did he? Yeah, he took it to life. Uh, did we just discard blade dance? No, you didn't have blade dance. You had ice shards. Oh no, yeah, it was already in my plate pile. Okay, so this he has to take to life. He knows to take this. Look at that, Erlon. Master blocker. Yeah, this All right, so the theoretically, the one extra life didn't matter in the end. Well, didn't matter in the end. It mattered for that one turn because he had the opportunity to lethal that turn. He just didn't know that he did because the life totals were wrong. It's been a long time. I don't know if I realize I could kill. That's the thing. It's hard. It's hard. Like if you don't see you can do it, why would you focus and then just? Because you don't have lethal, so it's yeah, hard to yeah, look yeah, back. Yeah. All right, and there's the uh, spreading palm, no growth. Sure. Spreading palm. 